Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, this comes in by donation here on the Twitch channel. And uh, that was also a, a prime sub as well as, as well as well as well. Uh, this is the Black Dahlia Murder. The name of the track is Night Bringers. All right. Bass tone on this is absolutely sick. It's low in the pocket, but uh, the way I'm listening to it, it sounds great. Every, there's a lot of it's a, a lot all of the all the music, uh, the uh, the guitar work and the bass is all in unison. So there isn't like one standout arrangement thus far. Meaning like while well, something like da 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 like the bass isn't maybe going straight. Bah, 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 bah. Everything is being played in unison. I love the harmony arrangements between the two guitars. You know, splitting hard left, hard right. Well, one of the things that I've really been kind of enamored with is how engineers are taking the layered um, fried vocal th and using um, techniques to give it its own life, hard left, hard right, but having the sound, uh, retricking out the sound to fit into more like with the guitars. So in other words, it's like an addition, an, an additional just gut punch uh, when the the performer the vocal performer is right down the middle fully grounding growling but then they pop in a super thick heavy stereo kind of um addition to that and that's something that's been intriguing me lately going how are they doing that and then i kind of go through my head and go oh it could be this Love that. You know, I love, you know, for me, I always love feeling that there's buried treasure in musicians. Here's what I mean about that. That guitar player has some depth to his solos. What I mean by that is, it's almost like, what's the name of the guitar player for Megadeth? I want to say it's Kiko, uh, I, I can't remember, I'm sorry. but. 
guys like Kiko, guys like this guitar player, I bet you if we did some kind of backing tracks that were like a fusion jazz, that these guys would clean up their tone really quick and be going. So there's a lot of depth and creativity and um, uh, influence, you know, for many years for a lot of these um, um, musicians that I can I can tell just bleeds through. It's like they're just absolutely crushing their solos and stuff. But that beginning of the solo, you know, there was a lot of depth, you know, with the whammy bar and everything like this and what he was doing. Very musical, though. Slight little flair of neoclassical, just slight. But when he got into the second half of his solo, just the cleanliness of the runs and stuff like that, and, and it wasn't overblown. It, it was still tastefully done. It still had a melodic kind of reference to that solo. To me, I go, ah, you know, this, this is probably, I don't know, but this is probably somebody, like I said, they could probably put on some, you know, you know progressive jazz, you know, dial down his tone and stuff and, you know, kick it up to the... Uh, the neck uh, uh, pick up and, you know, just be fully, fully. Loved every bit of that, you guys. I know I have some people, I mean, for myself, I have such a unique, <coughs> excuse me, um, palette of listening to music, and I enjoy so many different genres, and and um, that's why I've been able to do, like, the Decomposer Lounge, and I've got RPGs and stuff like that. And as, as aggressive and gnarly and, and heavy as this kind of metal uh, sounds, and with the growl, I had to get used to the growling. I, the, the the fried vocal things. When I started this chat that channel a couple years ago, I didn't know what to make of it. I, I was I, I fell into the category of like before I started the channel and listened to it, I was like, whoa, what's going on over here, man? Uh, it just sounds too dark and heavy for me. Don't know if I got it. And the more I drifted into you know through the de decomposer lounge and more people were giving me suggestions and I was reading lyrics, I was like, this stuff is mental. It is for a a, you know, uh, a, a very unique group of listeners and fans, without a doubt. But I also find a lot of the lyrics on a lot of these bands that I cannot inherently understand at first until I look at lyric, uh, their lyrics are pretty spot on a lot of things, you know? It's just you can't say it in a love song. You can't sit there and be going, the world is going to blow up because you are a douche. You know, it just doesn't work, right? You want to do that with like, you know, but anyhow, this band just absolutely this this suggestion actually uh, just absolutely smoked it and I fully dug it. And thank you so much for that.